Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to join two data sets in SSRS report by using lookup function. So think about a scenario where you need to extract data for your report and display on one table from multiple servers. So here in SSMS I can show you two SQL servers, SQL 2014 and SQL 2016. I have a sales database on both of the servers and there are a couple of tables uh, they are there so if you see here I have uh, this table let me refresh so I have salesperson location on the SQL 2016 uh, and I have salesperson on the 2014 so if you see here there are a lot of table actually salesperson so let me find out and uh, this one so that's uh, here you have the queries if you run the queries you can see the results so the table on a SQL 2014 has the ID, salesperson first name and last name and the table on the SQL 2016 server it has a salesperson ID, city and state. So if I join these two tables I can get the information and I can join on salesperson ID. But the thing is that they both are different servers. So one thing I can create a link server between them and uh, then uh, I can uh, just uh, create one data uh, source in, in my report uh, and uh, use that uh, link server query. So that's one way to do it. Other way, let's say one is a SQL server and other one is Oracle or the both are SQL, doesn't matter. And I do not have permission to create the link server, but I would like to get the data from both servers in my report uh, and show on uh, or display on the same table so we can do that in report server uh, in a SSRS report as well so let me take you to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and create that report first of all we'll be creating two shared data sources so right click here add data source and this will be sales I'm gonna call this one sales 2014 just to know we are connecting to the SQL 2014 instance here so click here and then we will be providing the server name in this case I'm going to get the server name select at the rate at the rate server name run this query got the server name copy paste the server name here and then select the database where your table of view is so in our case it is on the sales hit okay we all good hit okay now create a next data source let's call this one sales 2016 and uh, I'm going to hit edit provide the server name so in this case it is SQL 2016 put 6 here and then select the database so in this case it is sales as well so we have sales database on both of the instances hit ok and fine now next part we will be creating a report right click add new item go to report and then provide the name I'm going to call this one sorry let's call this one lookup function report the empty report is created click on the data sources right click add data source and let's call this one sales 2014 sorry and uh, use uh, the shared data source reference for sales 2014 that's it let's go to the next create an, another data source and uh, this will be sales 2016 so we are pointing to our shared data sources in our report so that's what we are doing here 2016 good now we'll be creating two data sets so first will be coming from sales 2014 other will be sales from uh, from sales 2016 data set right click and here let's call this one ds or d set sales 2014 and uh, let's select get the query so it is this is the query sales uh, select star from dbo sale person so come back to ssdt and uh, use a uh, data set uh, embedded in my report select the data source it is SQL 2014 paste your query and you're good next uh, we'll be creating a data set uh, from 2016 so I'm going to call that one dset uh, 
sales 2016 and here we will be selecting 2016 and paste the query first we have to select the query and this is a dbo salesperson location so you copy come back to ssdt paste your query hit ok now you see that we have two data sets and each of them have one of them has id and one has the salesperson id we know that these are the exact matching columns but we need to get uh, all those uh, other columns uh, let's say I would like to get salesperson first name last name and at least the city uh, on the table uh, so how I would do that uh, right click here insert uh, and bring table and now I'm gonna bring all these columns uh, here so you bring all these columns here whatever you need uh, from the first uh, data set uh, now for the second uh, as we want to have a city here I, I would like to write expression and I would be using a lookup function so right click here and then go to the expressions and we are going to write something like this lookup and expression as object expression as object so here we will be using the columns so first of all we'll be going to the built-in field and uh, sorry we'll be going to the data sets uh, and here 2014 uh, I can actually go to the fields that are directly here and uh, use IT and then next uh, I have to provide uh, on other uh, column on which I would like to do the lookup so this uh, will be joining with that one so in our case it is salesperson ID so I can copy this one as it is copy paste and then change this ID to the sale person ID so keep this one sorry so this one uh, this field is coming from the second data set that is the set sales 2016 uh, so this is the sale person ID I used uh, here next uh, you will be telling which column you would like to get in our case we would like to get a city so we will have to write something like field fields actually and then exclamation mark city and then we'll say value and then you put comma and last you will be writing the data set name so here you will be writing double quotes the set underscore sales underscore 2016 so that's how you will be writing your expression so first of all we will be writing the columns on which we are joining so these are the two columns we are joining this is the first uh, column coming from the uh, D set sales 2014 and it is ID we are joining with the salesperson ID from the second data set and uh, this is the uh, field we would like to show or sorry this should be not id we are writing for city we would like to have city so we would like to have city and then finally what we will uh, city is coming from a second data set so we have to provide that uh, here so we are good i'm gonna write copy this one and then okay and let's call this one city go ahead and preview your report and as you can see that uh, the results are coming from the second data set uh, for city and the uh, values come in uh, for the first name and last uh, name from the first uh, data set uh, so now we will do, do a few more things uh, let's say we would like to go ahead and write for the state as well so click here first let's write the names say state click here go to expressions and I have copied uh, that expression already I will be making some small changes so ID will be same this is the ID and then the second uh, column where we are joining so you see that sale person ID here and the next uh, we will be providing the name of the column that we would like to display and in our case it is a state and uh, the last thing is the second data set the scope of the uh, table this our tablex is uh, already the first data set as we extracted or put the fields uh, first uh, so that's why we don't do not need to do anything we have to just provide the second data set uh, name here so we are all good here hit okay preview and it's coming just fine now we can we don't need this uh, ID we can delete this column if we would like uh, so we 
can click here give some background if you would like some colors and our report is ready so that's how you will be joining uh, multiple data sets uh, in SSRS uh, report uh, I, I don't recommend this uh, really like if you have millions of records you want to bring in the SSRS report and then join for one column you might want to do in the link server or maybe you would like to extract the data from multiple servers uh, put into some common uh, database and then uh, use that for your uh, reporting uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will leave uh, the expressions uh, for the lookup function in the description as well so I will see you guys in the next video